Hey everyone, welcome to Tutor Terrific. Today I'm going to do a short tutorial for you on the TI-83+. Plus. We're going to specifically look at converting between decimal degree form and degrees, minutes, seconds form, or DMS. This would be something you would do if you're in a pre-calculus or trigonometry course, um, the equivalent course in integrated mathematics, maybe Math 3 or uh, something like that. And these graphic calculators do the job very well. So let's say I have an angle, and for example, uh, 63.26, or 63.36 rather, degrees. Now, I haven't stated anything to the calculator except what the number is that I'm dealing with. I'm going to convert this number to degrees, minutes, seconds form using the calculator. Now, the way to get to DMS on the calculator, like this, this is true for the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 Plus calculator line. Uh, we, will uh, we will select second apps. And this gives us the angle menu and you can see the yellow word angle above the word apps. Here we have a couple options that we're gonna deal with. We're not gonna look at five, six, or seven, or even three, but one and two we'll look at later. For now, we're gonna select number four, which says arrow DMS, which stands for convert the number before treat it as an angle and convert it into degree minute seconds form. So right now it's considering 63.36 as a decimal degree form of an angle. So when I press enter, I get the following. 63 degrees, 21, and this little dash, this little apostrophe that means minutes, and this little double quote or apostrophe that means seconds. So this is 63 degrees, 21 minutes, and 36 seconds. Now let me take a moment to explain for those of you who might be lost here what minutes and seconds are in angle language. A minute is a 60th of a degree, and a second is a 60th of a minute. So this is like base 60 in a way. It's like base 60 um, counting of small subdivisions of an angle or in degrees. Notice how it doesn't matter what mode you're in for your angles. You could be in radian or degree mode and you will get the same result because we the calculator when you use that function will consider your number not to be in radian mode but in degree mode so let me do the calculation one more time 63.36 second apps 4 and enter you get the exact same answer in degrees so it doesn't matter what mode you're in for these operations now, what if you had an angle in your book or on your handout for your problems that was in degrees, minutes, seconds form to start, and you need it in decimal degree form instead? Well, it's very easy on the calculator if you know where to find those particular symbols. So, let me show you. Let's say you had 65 degrees, 2 minutes, and 17 seconds. 65 degrees, 2 minutes, and 17 seconds. So first I'd type 65. Then I'd go to that same menu for I found DMS, second apps, and I press this time number one. See that little angle, that little degree symbol? So now I have 65 degrees. Okay? Now what I'm gonna do is type two, because I have two minutes. I'm gonna go to that same menu, second apps, and press number two for that little apostrophe, that little single quote. That means two minutes on this calculator. Now, if you go back and you type 17 and then you go back to that same menu, you won't see seconds. It's not here, which is a little frustrating to me. I don't know why it would be placed somewhere else, but it is. So I'm gonna quit this menu and I'm gonna show you. If I zoom in for you, it's dark green on this uh, color combination for this calculator, above plus, it's dark green, which means you have to press the alpha button to get to it. So I'm going to press, I'm literally gonna to have to press alpha and the plus symbol, and there it is, minutes. 65 degrees, two minutes, 17 seconds. Now you might be saying, wait, where do I tell to convert to decimals? Well, you don't. You just press enter and it does it automatically. Aha, 65.03 etc. That is decimal degree form of this angle. 
Now again, I will prove to you that it doesn't matter what mode you're in. Currently I'm in degree mode. I will switch back to radian mode. It's not going to give me a different answer here, guys. So, quit this menu, bring up that same calculation again by pressing second enter, and press enter. Same exact answer. It will be in degrees even though you're in radian mode. Now this does not apply, and it does matter what mode you're in, when you are doing a trigonometric expression. For example, let's say, right now, I want to find cosine of 6. I'm in, let's check, radian mode. So of course that's going to find the cosine of 6 radians, 0.96. 6 is near 2 pi, so it's close to 1. But, what if I get a little tricky here and I type 6, but then I say second apps. 1. Now, according to me, I told you that that means degrees, but I'm in radian mode. What happens? Boom. It converts it to degrees for you. So if you're in radian mode, you can still plug in angles into trig functions in degrees. And this is cosine of 6 degrees. It's different than the cosine of 6 radians. So guys, I hope this has been helpful to you to show you how to convert between DMS and decimal degree form on your TI-83 plus or your TI-84 line of calculators. It's the same. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Falconator signing out.